Welcome to Inside View. I'm your host, Joel Metzger, and joining me on this edition are Adam and Mathaldita, who are the stars of the hottest new show in the area, which is Looking for Animals. This show has swept across the nation, and not only has it reached national acclaim, internationally it swept across Armenia. Adam and Mathaldita, welcome. <laughs> Thanks for having us, Joel. Yes, Mr. Joel. It's just dazzling to be interviewed by you. Marvelous, darling. I'm just so excited to have the hot new stars of a hot new show on my inside view. Great to have you here on Public Access. <laughs> There's nowhere else we'd rather be. I can think of a few other places I'd rather be. Ow! Here! Just here! So uh, what have you guys been up to since your last episode? It's been a little while now. It has been a while. I mean, since the first episode, we just, we just blew up. We got dozens of views on our first episode. Dozens. So we nat naturally, we yeah. went on a national tour. Exactly. <laughs> a national tour? Yeah. That sounds fantastic. It's super fun. We took pictures. Yes, I believe that you both brought in a slideshow, and I was hoping we might be able to share that with our viewers. What do you think? Yeah, let's do it. We'll tell you about right. it and stuff. Yeah. Awesome. Let's put let's that up see. there. Oh, yep, this is the beginning, uh, driving, driving out. Uh, mm -hmm. is talking my ear off. Yeah, yeah. Listen to some great music yep. and... Uh, you Urban know. polka. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And it was, it was new. We like new things. Up oh, first stop, Hollywood. Uh, met lots of fun people there. Yep. Uh, I forget who took this picture, but we met some of our favorite singers there. Yep, Barbara Streisand and her housekeeper. Mm -hmm. They're great. Learned everything we know, at least. Up then, up north to the Cow Palace wasn't what we expected. Oh no! I didn't even really see a whole lot of cows there, um, but nonetheless, fun. Yeah. Always like to travel and look at the different areas. Oh, but then we, actually this is the Fillmore in Detroit. You can see us, we're actually really tiny down there at the bottom, right about to get in. Uh, oh, this is probably the best venue, huh? Yeah, huh, definitely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then after this, where do we go after this? Let's see, oh, yep, oh. quick stop at Mount Rushmore. Yeah. We met uh, George W. Bush there, he was there, he was great. Yeah. Um, Looking yeah. to get on that mountain. Uh-huh, and uh, he, he definitely liked massaging my cheek for some reason, but. Uh, he gave me a piggyback ride. <laughs> We had fun, nonetheless. Oh, then we, uh, we, we hitchhiked all the way to, this is Egypt. Mm -hmm. Did a show in front of the Sphinx, of course. Yep. You, Half animal. You have to. You have to do it. <laughs> it was fun. People didn't understand us there, because we, they, they just didn't. Yeah. And where was this mythology? Australia. Australia, yes, the opera house. We did a quick opera show, yep. looking for animals opera show. The animals um, were so scary there. They were. But luckily, we were inside that spiky house. Well, we them found them. We found the animal. Um, then we went to Italy. We couldn't figure oh. out where to go. Luckily, we found an olive garden. Yep, Mercy Bercu. Uh, Mercy Bercu. And uh, did a show in that olive garden uh, for free breadsticks, in fact. Can't and, be uh, beat. Can't be uh, beat. This is us meeting the Queen of England. Mm -hmm. We were told not to look into her eyes. Uh-oh. Um, no. Something about, I don't know. Snakes we just didn't do stone, it. Something like that. But she was very overjoyed to see us. She was. This is near the end of the tour. I was getting a little cranky. But yeah. Radio City, yeah. uh, Music hungry. Hall, it was fun. I mean, it was okay. Yeah, it was yeah. okay. Yeah. And uh, what was after this? I think it was, was it Space? Yep. Oh, so, yeah, my favorite. So little do people know, the Hollywood Bowl is actually located on the moon now. They moved it. Um, so I got some, some jet reasons. legs and stuff, and we boosted on out there. Actually, uh, the least amount of people to come to a show, strangely enough. Um, only one way to get back, so we uh, flew in. That, this is yesterday. Yep. Uh, had a soft landing. Re-entered the atmosphere. And, uh, yeah, I'd never done that before, no. but I wasn't too spooked by it. Oh. And uh, yeah, and it brings us back here. It brings us back here today. That looks unreal. <laughs> but like tons and tons of fun. Yeah, maybe next time you could be our roadie, Joel. I actually have a show to do with Algoda, mm. but thank you. Anyway, for, for anyone who might not know about your new show, not that that would be anyone, because you guys are obviously huge, <laughs> but uh, could you tell me and our viewers a little bit about the show? Well, yes. Uh, see, Mythalgoda and I, we host Looking for Animals from this very studio. 
and each episode we choose an animal and a general noun. Mm -hmm. And then we make a show around them. For example, dolphins and uh, lawsuits. Although, you know, I've never met a litigious dolphin, so that concept might be off the table. But our last episode was goats and friendship, and our next episode is cats and dogs and family. So, you get the idea, Joel. Do either of you guys have any animals? Um, yeah, actually, I've, I've had a lot of animals. I just have a cat now, but I grew up around a lot of people who had horses, cows, chickens. I even worked at a pet store for a while. I mean, you name it, I've cared for it. Hmm. What about a turtle? Uh, yeah, actually, yes, a turtle. Uh -huh. hmm. What about a chinchilla? <sighs> Chinchillas are the softest things ever. Softest. <laughs> what, a, what about a frog? Joel? I know frogs. <laughs> what about a dragon? What about three dragons? Um, Mathalgada, I don't, I don't think dragons exist. Well, they said that on Game of Thrones, too. Oh, dragons don't exist anymore. But that show is chock full of CGI dragon. Moving on, uh, what did you guys, what gave you guys the idea to get this show started? What's your inspiration? Well, I'm Cole, Mathalgada, and myself, we really like telling stories. And we really like making videos. We also love looking for animals. Um, in fact, we've been looking for Mathalgada's hamster, Sugarloaf, for the past 12 years since, since he got out of his cage. We're going to find you, Sugarloaf. I'm sure he's the king of the hamsters and rules them all with an iron fist or a paw. You know, I don't really know what a hamster's hands are called. And you see, that's what we're trying to figure out. We're trying to learn about these animals, teach them to other people, and, uh, you know, do that. We love learning new things and teaching them to others, so the show is a perfect fit for us. I must say, this show is an absolute delight from what I've seen of it. Oh. And again, for those few people in the world who may have missed this, it might be fun to, to show a clip for people. Yeah, let's, thank you, let's do that. Let's do that. You're my friend, and sometimes friends fight, but if they're good friends like us, we'll always find a way to solve our differences. They've learned to hang out around with us. In fact, all these things about them help us so much. They can feed us. Have some milk. They can help us on the farm. Eating unwanted plants and then fertilizing lawns. Oh, goats, there's so much I want to see. They're so cute and I want one just for me. For me. Uh, for you. For me. Yes, a gold friend just for me. Spell check. Okay. You remember? No. What's spelled Just wrong? Just tell me already. It's this, this, this. Oh. It's special was spelled wrong. I knew that. It doesn't have an A in there. Well, it has one What's A What's the there? real way to spell special? Well, I think it's just Here it comes. P -E -C -I -L. S P E C I A L. That's how you spell special. Oh my, I was going to spell it that way too, but with, the, uh, with no singing. And we've been running from that angry mob ever since. A male goat is called a billy. What is a female goat called? A, a lady. B, yo mama. C, a nanny. Or D, Beyonce. Ooh. Well, well, Cole, gosh knows I love me a good yo mama joke. But I'm going to go with A, a lady goat. I'm going to say the answer is A because that's what Adam says it is. But what kind of paperwork can I send into the government to officially change the answer to Beyonce? Yes, go Beyonce. I deal with this a lot. Mothers not wanting me to be friends with their children. I don't know if it's the mustache or the hat. Could I ask you some pop culture questions? Uh, are you more into One Direction or Justin Bieber? Oh, I've not heard of that band. They must be playing at Coachella. 
Do you know your ABCs yet? <laughs> your one, two, threes. We talked for hours about the universe and our lives within it. While I enjoyed chatting and learning from this young whippersnapper, there was still one question to which I had no answer. What is a good friend? And how would I ever become good friends with the goats? Have you ever felt you have become great friends with any of your goats? Wow. Oh my gosh. Mythalgada, a viewer at home sent us their own picture of Goat Yancey. <gasps> it's amazing. But how'd they know to send us mail? It's our first show. Goat Yancey works in mysterious ways. Mm -hmm. Oh, I hope to see you every day. It's true. I'm so happy that this big world includes you. <laughs> that was great. Yeah. Absolutely delightful. <laughs> Gosh, I really, really appreciated the songwriting. In fact, we'll talk more about that a little later. I, I definitely want to hear more about Great. that. Uh, but before we get to that, could we take a few questions from your casual viewers that have been submitted to me? We'd love to. You may proceed. Um, thank you, Mathalgada. Oh, no um, problem. Everyone kind of wants to know, and this was one of the most popular questions. Hmm. What is up with your name? Wha Ooh. Ooh. What? Bad move, Joel. What did I do? What's up with your name, Joel? Hmm? <laughs> well, my, my parents named me. Uh, oh, well, it's a very nice name. <laughs> Thanks. Next question. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. How did you guys manage to get your very own show? Well, I guess we walked in. Yep, we walked, we walked in here. You just walked in. Yes, we, it was actually it's easy peasy. We just kind of walked, oh, hi, Cole. This is Cole, our producer. Um, what we mean by we just walked in is that um, we couldn't do the show without our producer and biggest fan, Cole. Uh-oh. Hug? 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 Oh, <laughs> uh, yes. Uh, welcome, Cole. Uh, it must be a lot of work to produce a show of this quality. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I, I was wondering, what is it like to work with Adam and Mathalda? Yeah, I, I don't get paid enough. <laughs> Bye, Bye, Cole. Cole. Can't wait for you to take us to dinner <laughs> later. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Sometimes you both have special guests on your show. Mm -hmm. On the last episode, you introduced your viewers to a um, special guest of Herbert Furzog. Uh, he is trying to understand goats and be friends with them, and there was a wonderful uh, appearance, and, and it was just really touching. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, is there any chance that viewers might be able to look forward to other special guests in the future? Hmm. Well, of course, Joel. We love collaboration. In fact, the next episode, we'll be introducing our friend Boombox, who's a cat, who's allergic to cats. Yeah. And also Kyle, he's a fun guy. He stops by from time to time. And I believe in a couple episodes we'll have Ranger Rob. He is very informative. Very exciting. Mm -hmm. Look forward to those shows. Uh, what about celebrities? Are you ever going to have a celebrity on your show? Mm -hmm. Joel, Joel, mm -hmm. we've actually got something pretty big lined up. And it is big, Joel. <laughs> big. We might be in the process of trying to build up the courage to maybe think about contacting Taylor Swift's manager. Yep, we may possibly, at some point in the future, try to contact her on Instagram. It's in the bag. The appearance is in the, the bag. bag. Why Taylor Swift? Because she's amazing. Um, because her songs are poems. Your heart is too afraid to sing. <laughs> And then, Taylor and I will be best friends, and we'll have sleepovers with footy pajamas and caramel popcorn, and we'll watch scary movies, but we're going to have to keep the lights on, because I have high blood pressure, and Adam's afraid of the dark. I told you not to tell anybody that. Hmm. Well, that's very exciting, very exciting. Those plans sound incredibly concrete. I'm sure she'll be on the show. Look forward to it. 
Uh, when you look forward toward the future, what are some goals you have for your show? Um, well, I mean, in, in general, our goal is to look for animals, kind of like, like what the title says. I mean, yeah, our goal's right there in the title. <laughs> We're looking for animals. <laughs> but when you find those animals, what do you do? Well, if they are really cute and fuzzy and have big eyes and cute little faces, the first thing I do is, is go, Ah, you're so cute, I want to hug your face. And sometimes they run away, but if they stay, I go and I hug their face, Joel. Hmm, that's all good. Uh... Well, of course, after asking permission from the cute-faced animal's owner. That's right. Safety first, hugging cute animal faces second. A good life lesson for us all. But... What are your personal goals? Where would you like to see the show go? Hmm. I think I'd like to see it go to space. That's right. We are trying to work out something to do like a, a week-long special on Mars. And you've already been in space, so you have some experience. Uh -huh. Why not go back? Mm -hmm. You know, wait a minute. You can't just go to space, guys. You know that, right? With all due respect, Joel, you saw us earlier. And you are not my mother. You cannot tell me if I can or cannot go into space. Oh, I got a message. Sorry, guys. Oh, Sorry. What does it say? It's from my mother. She says I'm not allowed to go to space anymore. Oh. Oh. Smart lady. Where do you see yourselves in about five years or so? Well, hopefully with enough support to keep doing this. I can't imagine not looking for animals. Yeah, I mean, if we aren't looking for animals, what are we looking for? I wasn't expecting such a philosophical answer, Adam. Don't worry, I'm sure we'll find a way to dumb it down by slapping it on a t-shirt or throwing it on a hilariously oversized coffee mug. Oh gosh, I was worried for a second. <laughs> good. Yeah, it's all good. We'd all actually good. like to ask you a question, Joel. Mm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What, well, I would be delighted. What's the question? If you were hosting your own Looking for Animals episode, Okay. What animal would you choose? And what noun? Hmm. Frogs. <laughs> and adventure. <laughs> well, funny you should yeah. answer that way, Joel, because our buddy Kyle's out in the field right now looking for frogs. <laughs> yep, let's roll Kyle. <laughs> for frogs in Calaveras County. <laughs> what? 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 <laughs> what? No way! What? Even the trash cans? Whoa! 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 Art thou a frog? What? What? Excuse me, miss. What's the deal with the frogs? Mark? Mark who? Mark Twain. He's the guy that wrote the story about them. A story? Where can I find him? He's over there. Oh, thank you. Interesting. The locale of Mark Twain's famous story, The Jumping Frog of Calaveras. Mark, please tell me, why the frogs? Well, Kyle, the frog provided a great story for this town. A story of love, sport, Deception, humor, and probably some other things too. And now, because of the jumping frog story, I'm stuck on this wall forever. Well, that was all the frogs in Calaveras County. Hope you had a great time. I found the uh, subject quite riveting. <laughs> what? <laughs> Wait a minute. How did you know I was going to pick frogs? <laughs> well, Joel, we, we found your, uh, your binder backstage that you keep all your hopes and dreams in. Had frog stickers all over it. Also, who else has a bumper sticker on their car that says, I heart frogs? <laughs> Fair enough. I wanted to bring us back to the process of writing songs and composing music. I know I promised we'd go back there. So how do you come up with these great songs? Well, first off, we have to give a big thanks to EJ and the Fool Dogs. We use their song, Heavy Stone, for the opening credits to the show. It's a great song, and they are a great group of guys. 
It's very fun indeed. Now, as for songs that you sing in the show, how long did it take you to write them? And, and um, like the goodbye song, for example, how long would something like that take? Uh, maybe like a half hour. Only a half hour? Yeah, I mean, it's simple. All I do is, uh, uh, like, let's say we did, a, we did a song about frogs. Okay. So, uh, Mythalgata loves songs. <laughs> so first, all we do is start off with a simple little beat. Mm. How's that sound? Okay. You feel it, Mythalgata? Let, let the dog bark talk to you. A ribbity flibbity flop. 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 Flop flop flop. A ribbity flibbity flop. Oh oh oh. Oh, wow, that was amazing. Just amazing. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> and, and who is that other guy? Is, is he a new character who was singing with us? What other guy? Well, the guy, he was, he was, well, he was right here. He was singing with us. Well, we didn't see any guy. But he was, but he was right, he sang. He, uh, I can't recall. Uh, well, is there anything else you'd like to tell your viewers ab about the show, talking with animals? <sighs> Looking for animals. Looking for animals, all good, all good. I think overall, we just like to say, be nice to animals. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we, Mathalog and I, we, we like to joke around, we like to have fun, but in the end, we just hope we can show people that it's good to be nice to animals and to be nice to everybody. Well, that's very sweet of you guys. You know, Joel, it's sweet of you to have us on your show. You should come on to our show sometime. I would be honored. When would you like to have me on? Probably when you least expect it. Huh? It's time for the goodbye song! It's goodbye song time. There, there are many, many things, things in life that, that keep us down. down. Some people that aren't friendly and don't mind to see you frown. But thankfully you're kind and it makes me feel so swell. I hope everyone else who's watching feels so swell as well. And I hope it makes you happy when I'm near Joel. For if you should need help from me, I'll be there for you instantly. I hope to see you every day, it's true. I'm so happy that this big world includes you. <laughs> That's really sweet. Thank you. Thank you both for taking the time to come on Inside View and talk with me today. It's really been my pleasure, and I hope that you'll come back again sometime and appear as star guests again. <gasps> we'll never leave! <laughs> <laughs> it was a pleasure again to be here, Joel. We'd also like to ask everyone to check out our website, lookingforanimals.com, and like us on Facebook and Instagram. Please remember to send us mail and catch our next episode about cats, dogs, and family. Until next time, I'm your host, Joel Metzger, and thank you for watching Inside View. <laughs>